All right, well, um, I've got a lot of stuff to be watching here. Very, I gotta watch some stuff here very quickly, and I'll get by them very fast. Um, actually, it's just a few things. Move from top to bottom. I swear to God, this is all gonna be fast. If the video, so we got here the first five minutes of Fear Street. That's what it says, but I think it's the first five minutes of part one. And, uh, I am excited. And let me see what the reviews are as far as, uh, see, fear. Street. Fear Street Part 1, 1994. So far, I don't know what the reviews are on this. I mean, there's a lot coming out this weekend. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be No Sudden Move, which I do plan on watching and reviewing. The Tomorrow War. Plan on watching and reviewing. Summer of Soul, I just plan on watching overall, but like, you know, relax myself. And, um, this one. But I will probably, what I'll do is essentially, I will, I'm thinking about it, I will watch these films, like, on a Saturday, and then once I'm finished with it, I'll do like some sort of combo review. And I'll probably have it up by near the end of the month. Because, God, there are so many movies coming out. But, okay, so it's got 86% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's good. That's good enough for me. You know, I it really depends on my taste on horror films. But I am excited for Fear Street. It's interesting to see some Roald Dahl, uh, no, R.L. Stein, you know, ad an adaptation of an R.L. Stein book. That is not necessarily Goosebumps, but from what I hear, the book series is good, and from what I hear, part one is good. I think they're just going to keep releasing the reviews weekly, so let's see the first five minutes of Fear Street, what I assume is part one, 1994. So this is just going to be quick. It began as a prank, and ended in murder. Fantastic choice. I love this one. It's trash. Lowbrow horror. It's for my stepdaughter. Uh, that'll be two ninety five. Thank you for shopping at B Dalton's. And have a nice night. Yeah, I've seen people. I've seen people like that before. That who? That's essentially gonna be me if people disrespect me. It's like I don't know. The Shady Side Mall is now closed. Shady Side. The Shady Side Mall is now closed. Totally gonna die. Hello, this is B. Dalton's. We're closed. Okay, since when do you work late? Since my mom used her last paycheck on scratch tickets instead of the gas bill. Hello? Ryan? Ryan? You there? Ryan? Hello? Is that a. Hello? Come on, is that a Dr. Seuss book on the. Uh... Down on the le on the in the bottom left. So far, it's really well shot. I I love the use, and if you guys know, I'm a huge lover of the anamorphic format. I love anamorphic. I love like some of the distortion. I don't think you see it here, but like you know, some of the wide angle distortion. The fact that it's actual widescreen, and yeah. I think it's gonna look great. Night. Yeah. <sighs> There's that douchebag every time. Forgive me. I do need a ride tonight. That's what she said. Yeah. You are disgusting. I knew he was at a. I knew I knew this guy was when we saw him on the scene. I was like, "Wait, does this guy work at a smut shop?" I don't. I've never really been to a smut shop before, so I can't say for certain. And yes, I don't want to walk home alone. Fine, just give me a uh, Jasmine here. Fifteen minutes to close up. You gave her a name. 
Yeah, I thought uh, big tits was kind of deflating. Here we go. Oof, dude, you will never. You will die a virgin. You will die a virgin. What? What? I didn't. What? I didn't say anything, weirdo. Is there a fly? Where am I? Damned. Jackie Collins. I, I would leave right now. <laughs> Thank God I'm not the character in a horror movie. I would, I'd be too smart to survive a horror movie. I think I need to take action. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm still watching. Okay, very funny, asshole. I'm spooked. Okay, you win. It's not. Okay. Mm. Grim Reaper. So I thought it was a smut shop. It's not a smut shop. It's apparently a goth uh, smut shop. So, those were some pretty good five minutes. Granted, I feel like, yeah, uh, I'm impressed, honestly. Um, yeah, and my curiosity, I have, I mean, it's already had my attention ever since. Uh, it, it's like, okay, that looks interesting. Because I, I mostly like reacting to horror movie trailers. I don't like watching horror movies that much. And don't get me wrong, there are some good horror movies. But if I go on my IMDb, uh... Activity. IMDb. I'm gonna sit back, actually. No, I, I shouldn't. Uh, I'm actually only recording this uh, because uh, I'm gonna go make myself uh, something to eat now. But I, I, I can talk. That, that looks like... Uh, I know it's from the same author. It's like Goosebumps, but through the eyes of James Wan. 
because uh, I, I would say John Carpenter, but Carpenter was very versatile, as well as James Wan is. That's something I appreciate about filmmakers like James Wan and uh, John Carpenter, that they, you know, they're versatile. They don't just stick to one genre, whereas you stick to one genre and it becomes tiring. For example, um, what was the name? Uh, Darren Lynn Bozeman, who kind of took over the Saw franchise. Um, oh, cool. I got highlights here. Uh, yeah, I've been on IMDb for a while now. Um, where is it? Yeah, horror. Here it is. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, so I've only seen like 92, and most of them are just TV episodes. Yeah. Let's see. My rating. Let's see. Um, so there's a few I did in, I do enjoy, like, uh, yeah, here it is. Autonomous, Warm Bodies, uh, both Zombieland films, um, Army of the Dead, the Scream movies I enjoyed, Halloween, Lighthouse, Quiet Place. Uh, some of the Conjuring films. There's a lot I enjoy, depending on it. But yeah, it, it it looks really cool though. It's like you know, essentially, it's everyone's gonna compare this to Goosebumps. There's no doubt about it. Everyone's gonna say, "Wow, it's like Goosebumps," except it's R-rated, and you know, it's more like Stranger Things, but with that, but like you know, more. It's like Goosebumps meets. Stranger Things, and it's rated R, apparently, so that's a good sign. But then again, there have been some horror movies that were better with... I don't know. Sorry, you had to hear that voice. That was the voice of my mother. I'm kidding. That's not... Sorry, it's, I was wearing two socks. Um, but, yeah. Um... Yeah, Goosebumps meets Stranger Things, and it's R-rated. It's like edgier than Stranger Things, and I love Stranger Things. But I'm going to end it here. I'm excited. I'm definitely going to do it, and then I'll post the review here on YouTube instead of on Instagram. So this was, you know, the Fear Street uh, Part 1 opening scene. I'm checking this out. Uh, probably on a Saturday, though, because then I'm going to watch... I decided when it comes to new releases, if there's a lot, I'm going to just watch one new release per day. And then I'll probably watch this on the weekend. Let me know what you all thought. You know, because on July, tomorrow, um, I've got No Sudden Move. And then tomorrow night is the premiere for The Tomorrow War, which I'm probably going to stay up uh, watching it. And I'll sleep over it. And uh, then I'm just going to watch uh, Summer of Soul very casually. Because then next week I got to review Black Widow. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you do subscribe, hit the bell to stay notified. Follow me on Instagram. The link is in the description. And Godspeed, everybody. And uh, take care.